If you work with clients and you have calls with your prospects, I'm sure 100% that you've heard this objection many times when you present your offer. I need to think about it. Let me think about it. Well, if you don't know what to answer to this question and you would like to know what to say in order to make the prospect say yes to your call to action, you are in the right video. Welcome back to the Escape 9 to 5 show. Something that I want to make clear from the beginning on this video is that there are no maybes when you have a call with a prospect. Let's assume that you have this call, you present the offer to the prospect and the prospect says, I need to think about it. Let me have some time to think about this and I will come back to you. That's not a maybe. That's actually a no. When you have calls with prospects, there are no maybes. There are just yeses and nos. At the end of the call, if the prospect doesn't say yes, well, that's a no. And this situation will happen a lot of times. Every time you start a call, I want you to assume that the prospect you have on the other side of the screen or in front of you, at some point, will say something like, let me think about it. I need some time. I'm not sure about that. I have to talk with my partner. You have to assume that your client will go for a no. Every time you have to take a decision, you can have cold feet. It's normal, it's human. So you need to be prepared for this kind of eventuality that actually is gonna happen 99% of the times. The reason why you don't close your prospects into clients is because you're not prepared to objections that they will come up with a certain point. I want you to switch your mindset at the beginning of a call. I want you to be prepared. I want you to have a solution when someone will come out with an objection not to embark on your call to action. Expect to receive no's in your first 20 calls, but it's all right, it's okay. Don't get depressed if no one wants to say yes to your call to action in the first 20, even more, even 30 calls, because you're there to take notes. I want you to put down on a piece of paper, or since we are in the 21st century, on your computer, I want you to put down all the objections that you will receive. And I want you to think at the end of the call how to reply better to that objection. The more calls you will have, the more you will realize that objections are always the same. There are actually three big types of objections that you will receive when you have calls, but I will talk about this, wait for it. Before we move to that, I want to tell you that in the description of this video, you have the chance to join my 10-day bootcamp, How to Get Clients on Autopilot. It's a 10 video program that I put together to show you my personal technique to get clients consistently on a daily basis. There is a private Facebook group connected to the bootcamp with all the members that are helping each other. So the community effect there is really powerful. Back to our calls with prospects. I want you to put in your prospects shoes. I want you to think, what should I hear in order to be convinced to take action? If I say, I have to think about it is because I have doubts about the call to action that you presented to me. So what should I hear? What should I receive from you in order to clear my doubts and say yes? You need to tackle those objections as soon as you can on the call. Don't leave your client think about it because the more time you will give to the client to think about it, the lower is the chance for this person to say yes to your call to action. As I said earlier, there are three big types of objections that you will receive. The objections are about price, about time, or about the program. If you need to hire me, it's a big investment. It's not cheap. So I understand if you have doubts or if you're not sure you should do that investment, right? That's why I tackle the problem from the get-go. If you tell me during the call that you're not ready to make this, this kind of investment, I'm gonna fix this problem for you on the call. And I will tell you, okay, it makes sense. I understand. Hiring me is an investment, it's not cheap. You have to invest some money. So let's tackle this problem. What about splitting the payment into monthly payments and make it more affordable for you? Now, the thing you have to be prepared is the fact that your prospect will say no even to your first solution. So you need to have a second solution and a third one 
And fourth one, you have to be prepared, as I said at the beginning of this video. So if someone tells me, no, even with monthly installments, I'm not sure about joining your program, I have another solution for you. How can we personalize my plan in order to make it affordable for you and useful for you? How can we do it? As you can see, I'm pushing the prospect to say yes. And this is important. This is a habit that you need to develop when you have a call. Don't give up too early because this is a mistake that I see too many people doing in the industry. You need to push because when you have a call and when you receive an offer, it's really difficult to say yes to the offer straight away. That's why I'm pushing and I'm trying to make the prospect say yes based on something that is great for the prospect, great for me, a great middle ground, and we can start working together from the get-go. Obviously, when I'm saying pushing the prospect, I don't want you to be too aggressive. I want you to find a way that will work for both of you. I want you to understand how to help the client. Never sell something you're not 100% sure will help the client because if you give a bad service, your client will become your worst ambassador. And this is something that you don't want for your business. You want to help everyone and to make everyone happy. Another thing that I provide for my clients is a bulletproof guarantee. Now, I'm going to do another video about the three big types of guarantees that you can offer to your prospects. But the one that I use is bulletproof. It's a no-brainer because I tell you, look, we can start working together. You hire me, you make the investment. And if in 90 days you don't get your investment back, I'm going to give you a total refund. No questions asked. My clients will never waste their money with me. And I came out with this guarantee because I had a lot of calls with prospects and they told me, they all told me the same thing, that they wasted their money with another mentor. And that's why they were really afraid to hire someone new. So I thought, if I were the prospect, what should I hear in order to say yes to this new mentor? And I thought, I don't want to risk my money anymore. So I need to have the guarantee that I will never lose my money. That's how I came up with my bulletproof guarantee. If you work with me, you will never lose your money. You have 90 days of time to tell me if you got back the investment that you did, that you made. Otherwise, I will give you back the money that you spent. So you are not risking anything working with me. Anyway, I will do another video about this. I will get more into details because this is not the only guarantee that you can give to your clients. So subscribe to the channel if you're not, if you're still not subscribed to it. Subscribe to the channel with the red button you see below this video and wait for one of the next videos I will do that would be exactly about the three main types of guarantees that you can offer to your prospects. As you may already learn so far from this video, you need to become a student when you have calls with your prospects. You need to understand what are the main problems that your prospects have and you need to come up with different solutions, not just one. One objection, has multiple solutions and you have to come up with this. And this comes just with experience, just with practice. You have to take call after call after call. So don't get depressed. If you will get 20 no's in your first 20 calls, you're there to grow your experience and to come up with solutions. And by the way, in the description, remember that you have the link to join my 10 day bootcamp, how to get clients on autopilot. In that bootcamp, you have the entire strategy from A to Z, everything you need to do in order to gather a lot of prospects, have a lot of calls with them, convert them into long-time clients and grow your business. I put in that bootcamp the entire strategy. So I won't leave any stone and turn there. For the rest, let me know in the comments what you think about this video. If you have any feedback, if you have your own opinion, write it in the comments. Or if you have any questions for me, same thing get in the comment area, write a comment. I'm going to read each one of the comments that I will receive there and I will reply to you. I promise you that. I'm going to see you here in the Escape 9 to 5 show again with my next video. I'm going to see you there.